Hi, I'm Sandy Ingram. Welcome to the video entitled Saddam, the CIA, and the Iraqi Dinar. What I'm about to share with you hits to the heart of transparency when it comes to the revalue, the float, or reinstatement of the Iraqi dinar. Not until matters like this are resolved can effective change occur. Listen to the documented facts I will share and please allow personal opinion of others. You be the judge of what you ultimately decide. Ready? Let's get started. A man the world believed to be Saddam was executed on Saturday, December 30th, 2006. Again, the special forces captured the dictator near his hometown. Now, you may be wondering why Saddam's true identity is a concern. Well, here's why. After an assassination attempt, Saddam decided to employ more doubles. These are people who look like him and often attend ceremonies and social events as Saddam. At least one of these men had dental work to match Saddam's overbite. Now there is something you should realize about an overbite and an underbite. When you close your mouth and your top teeth extend out over your bottom row of teeth, you are said to have an overbite. When your bottom teeth extend beyond the upper row of teeth when your mouth is closed, it is said to be an underbite. Medical doctors will tell you that an overbite and an underbite does not change and cannot change in six months just because you are under ground or under an extreme amount of stress. Yet, the man who was hung on December 30th, 2006, had a serious underbite. When Saddam was first captured, his wife, his first wife, the real wife, went to visit him. Within a few seconds after she sat down with the man or saw the man called Saddam, she jumped up and ran out of the building saying this man was not her husband. She repeatedly asked, what have you done with my husband? What have you done with my husband? Where is my husband? Now, no U.S. newspapers reported this incident. This was reported for a Foreign, from a foreign uh, media outlet with details all over the internet. Surely we would have wife to save this in an effect to save her husband's life. But what if she was telling the truth? Experts are on record as saying that it was difficult to know if a double or the real Saddam was standing before you. The doubles went through extreme plastic surgery to look like the dictator himself. Similarities even down to dental work were completed on at least one of Saddam's doubles. As you can see on your screen, the man who was hung is on the far left on your screen. When you look at his bottom row of teeth, it is clear this man has an underbite. What I'd like for you to do, please, is leave your thoughts and your comments in the comment section. But first, let's take a look at, let's take this one step further. It was said, and this is hearsay, that certain people within Iraq uh, believe Saddam wasn't educated enough to run the country in the future. Their first order of business or confusion was to introduce and support the woman who Saddam married, even though he was still married to his first wife. 
Now, I don't know if this is true, but I will tell you what is documented. Saddam was a very intelligent uh, a man, according to uh, a law school in Egypt. You see, when Saddam was a young man, uh, he ran from an attempt assassination of the Iraqi Prime Minister Abdul Karim. Saddam studied law at the University of Cairo in Egypt when he was on the run from his own country. Things happened and he did not finish law school. He returned to Iraq and later became the prime minister or the dictator of Iraq. Now, according to the law school in Egypt, Saddam was very intelligent. His attempt to take a second wife who was a doctor, and this is my opinion, may have been his way of marrying into an education status. This second marriage caused serious strife, and the serious strife is, is documented uh, within Saddam's first family, and murder was involved. <laughs> there was murder. Now, back on record with uh, opinion or belief, it was always believed that Saddam was or is a CIA asset. This information is documented, but not by the CIA, who doesn't reveal the names of their assets. If Saddam had ties to the CIA, then surely he would have reported that his doubles or double and his cabinet members and possibly his new wife were plotting and undermining him to take control over the government or country. If he reported this information to the CIA, the CIA may have extracted him. And this is belief by many and an opinion. There is enough chatter, web pages, and reports online to support this theory. However, that doesn't make it true. Yet one thing is for sure. This is just one more unanswered question about Iraq and the Iraq war. What I'd like for you to do, please, is share your thoughts and comments and additional information on this subject in the comment section. I would like to know what you think about this content and the information that is floating around the Internet. Keep in mind the overbite and underbite factors. We'll get back to lower taxes in our next video, and you know the drill.